with speed, brother. Yeah, you like skip to the game part of it, then. One, two. Turn it off a bit. Off of the tournament. Now we are going to end off. Uh, we're going to end off like strong with winners of the versus team. Yeah, I have teams, a two hundred. Uh, with the extra H after that A, okay. a there, so okay, I can hear it I'm not too certain how to pronounce it's that. So I'm just right going now. to say taste from now on because taste is a bit annoying to say. But yeah, <laughs> we're going to start <laughs> with is. winners of toxicity on killer, and they will be playing Deathslinger on Sanctum. I'm once again, of course, yes. joined by Spoker. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, and just to clarify the pronunciation of the second team, and they are known as TASTE! <laughs> Thank you, I will not say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all that being said, this is going to be our last matchup for the night, with Deathslinger on the Sanctum of Wrath as our first matchup. We're going to be seeing WOT first, then TASTE playing Deathslinger, and we're going to be finishing up with Clown on the Coal Tower, starting with TASTE and then Windows of Toxicity. So without further ado, let's get into this first game and we're going to be seeing here oh, this yeah. looks like everyone's looking at the floor bro. spawn for this device with some interesting builds coming into play Ooh. we're going to be seeing the devour hope build which i believe has been unused by windows of toxicity so this is allowed for them to use fear not we have seen this build tonight oh, but i be believe me on the style, so. state teams can only use a specific kind of build once so Let's see how this plays out. It's a very oh, nice palette stun. Oh, nice. Oh. And a really nice dodge there. Bye. That is, in fact, Mirage playing for Team Taste. Unfortunately, like going to get hit there by the Mr. Slinger. Game. But he's going to commit to this chase. We do see the uh, the prison keys, which does, in fact, have a faster reload time. Not too sure about that. I can't even remember if he speared me. I don't think he did. To faster reload yep. Time. Yep, that is the modified ammo belt, which also reduces the reload time. The green one does so by 0.5 seconds, and the brown one all by... 0.25 right, seconds and we are going to see Destinger Mirage smart. already being down here as well Destinger with the Devour Hope build we have previously seen that on Demogorgon but Destinger is so so much stronger in chase than Demogorgon so I believe we might Gorgon. actually see some Devour Hope rally oh, coming out of uh, the Destinger here but it's going to be a he bit more to difficult to play around it on good. a map like Sanctum of Wrath which, which you know, is nice, more condensed like. <laughs> a bit smaller than um, the Demogorgon Core Town map or oh, well Actually, no, but uh, on, so if you try to decide, if you try like, to defend Hexton one side, it's going to be like, more difficult on that uh, that way but, because Quartel is over, uh, overall just yeah, it's, uh, it's bigger right. than uh, one of the sides here if you split Sanctum in half. So it's going to be oh. a bit more difficult to get these Devour Hope stacks. One hit already gotten out in the KT yeah. as well. Alloy is go going to be put away, into the injured state, so now being... Uh, in a difficult situation here. Yeah, we do see Ace oh running in, God, almost God. getting the spin off all these slides so far, <laughs> trying to spin here. So, uh, really, really, uh, making, uh, the name really makes a lot of sense here, or oh, what they're going for. A, a very close dodge uh, here it, from it was the, uh, the aim down yeah. side here as well by the Ace. Now stuck in the corner on a relatively unsafe point you know, here. This, so this is loop. really a point where the Zissinger will be able to play so around quite yeah. nicely. He's going to miss the shot at first here, however. So Gordon will be able to play for a bit longer. Tries to get the <laughs> shot done this? onto Gordon here around he, the corner, he but he's going, going to be a bit more patient than that. Will remain behind the rock, not going to be able to get that hit. And we also see that insane speedy on the reload speedy with the 0.75 second reduction. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see like, how like much this, that actually I'm comes the uh, through game, here <laughs> for the remainder of the game. Another hit it's here. So Gordon bad. wasting so much time on this one pallet. All his teammates on generators in the meantime will be able to pressure the generators yeah. unhinged, okay. what's, uh, unhindered whatsoever. Yeah. Gordon finally going down now after I believe it was the fourth shot having been dodged. So great performance here by Gordon wasting so much time in that corner. Yeah, that was oh, quite the chase from Gordon. We should be seeing some gens just... popping. We do have two gens remaining from the Survivor team. Good old taste. The boys are back in town. <laughs> very, very unfortunate how <laughs> Altercow played that chase against Gordon there. Instead of just opting to break the pallet and zoning Gordon in that back part of the map, which would have been the much smarter thing to do, here, especially as a like death slinger who can basically just pull you out from nearly anywhere. Do a bit of zoning, as Chad would say, but... 
I don't he's know. looking around he's... for another survivor. Saw some scratch marks around this generator. Is now just trying to pressure it, get a dry kick on it, and potentially get some regression while also being not too far away, hooking up to get that second. And then, stack. okay, you guys are gonna like, here, okay, Mirage didn't see you, okay? It's Stuff fine, guys. For the survivors, but the it's not his fault. Way too quickly. There's only one <laughs> generator remaining fault. I hate with him. two hook states. So, for okay, Ultra so Cam, like, okay, he's going the other way, Mirage. That's really unfortunate. Really bad body block from Mirage there. It's really gonna cost his team and that's going to be a down onto Ooh. gordon an unfortunate miss of a flick shot true tell them not be proud of that one but that's going to be the last gen true popping with still only two stacks of devour hope alter cow has to, if he really wants to commit to this devour he needs to get away from this book head over to the other door where the survivors are most likely going to be opening kind of and way, potentially yeah. get an instant down from that that's his best chance to get some more hook stages getting a fresh down onto a fresh hook and we do see a survivor on the door here. This is going to be the Zarina. This is Kanalev. I believe his first time competing in a tournament and for Team Ace as well. Uh, let's see. If he times this shot to the unbook, he might be able to get the third stack of Devour and still get the insta down. So if that happens, holy crap, I will freak out. But, but a very nice pilot around. drop comes through from Kanalev. Uh, so it's going to be difficult for Ozikel to get Valley out of that devour. And Kanalev now being injured as well. So that is not going to be the one shot down any longer. A uh, great movement there on that. Yeah, uh, on the tile being able to get to that pallet. And they don't seem like they're going to be saving here in time. No, we do actually see the save come in on in time. But the issue is that the one survivor in place is the only one being injured. Beside the one that has just been Anuk. So Kanalev really playing that well on time here now finding their way to all the way to shack as well and i don't think shack has been dropped yet yeah we're just gonna see the survivor holding to shack uh this might be a potential hatch escape even if we have that offering in play maybe we have the size uh maybe maybe the size might be timely yeah but we do see and the timing yes he's gonna get it he's gonna get it the hatch so he's gonna the hatch is gonna spot the, the hatch I mean, what's escape he gonna do there he can't the really four man power. escape with the hatch perfectly the hatch, timed here. Yeah, that was exactly what I was expecting. Yeah, Kanalev right. timing it, the corner yeah, no, perfectly it here, dropping the pallet, and then telling it's his team to leave. And they the get the window. escape there. Gordon with an is amazing it? chase yeah, mid game, yeah. making it so or difficult for Altercal to chain down. Super unfortunate for Altercal here, only ending this with three stays, I believe it was, with a four man out playing Death Swinger. So that is definitely something that you can outperform in the upcoming matches. Fantastically it, it timed by Kanalev that, that is going to result in the form and out in this first game. And after a short intermission, yeah, we'll we will be right back with Taste or to get it out of the system from the uh, get go. No, taste! It, it, uh, on the Death Singer on Sanctum like Rap with the rematch. So until then, stay tuned. Sorry. Time to get more might lift out of the wall, right out of the wall. I think that's also set, but I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head. I think it's I think it's the one away from the the like one window side. And the the one doorway side, my bad my bad. Oh, okay. like the, I think it's opposite of that, but I could be wrong. So opposite of pallet side. No, it would be on pallet side, because that's the short window side. So it'd be on pallet side. Cause it's yeah. I th I'm pretty I sure it just wants Kenna, when you got hatched, wasn't it around the back? It was. It was near the door. Which, oh, 